Uh, Sandy Toxvig, first time delegate, first time speaker. President, Congress, or as we say in show business, darlings. Um, unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, um, may I say how proud I am to be moving this motion for the Writers Guild of Great Britain, for whom I have the honor of being the president. Uh, It's going to be seconded by Equity, which is my other union. Uh, if anybody else would like me to join their gang, I am available. We need to stick together, people. Right. Anybody ever watch uh, Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus, Apple, or listen to podcasts on Audible? Uh, how ever did all those companies think of those fun shows? Well, they didn't. Uh, writers did. Writers sitting in their garrets or whatever, they are the ones that come up with the ideas. They write these ideas down, and soon actors are employed, camera operators, prop makers, costumes, makeup, catering, taxi drivers. They all get work, and you get entertained after a long day of union business, uh, simply because a writer had an idea. Our motion, like so many motions, is mad. Let's make sure people receive fair pay for the work they do. <gasps> Yeah, I know. It shouldn't need to be a motion. It should be a given, but it isn't. And currently, writers are not receiving fair pay when they work for streaming companies or audio services. So if one of our members works with a UK broadcaster, BBC, ITV, Channel 4, all the writers are contracted under a collectively bargained agreement which we've negotiated. And these agreements all contain provisions which means that when a writer's work is repeated on TV or sold abroad, they share in the success of the work in the form of royalty payments. It's fair and it's essential. So remember that for every famous screenwriter, there are many, many more unknown or less well-known writers just trying to make a living. And trust me, the life of your average jobbing writer is not easy. The hours are long, the work is precarious, sporadic, inconsistent, and royalty payments allow writers to stay afloat through tough times. But when UK writers create shows or produce scripts for a streaming company, they are paid what is known as a buyout fee. So it's essentially, it's a lump sum payment with no further royalties. They're also required to sign over all their intellectual property rights so they can't use their ideas again to form, I don't know, to write books, theater shows, video games, or produce other forms of entertainment. The companies own all of these rights and profit when they're used again, not the writer whose idea it was in the first place. And this new model means that over the life of a show, writers are paid less overall and don't share in the success of their work when it does well. So if you watch a favorite show over and over on a streaming service, chances are that the writer is getting nothing, and yet the show, of course, wouldn't exist without them. Because writers do not receive royalties, they are less likely to be able to sustain their careers. And think about that, that's a real problem for writers from traditionally underrepresented backgrounds. Working class, writers of color, those with disabilities. There is a risk that writing will become less diverse, a profession only for those who can afford it, and what you watch will be way less interesting. One of the great cons of our time is the notion that creating culture, writing, acting, making film and TV is somehow a privilege, a luxury, when actually it's work. And it's work that generates 108 billion pounds a year and employs over 2 million people. Which is how we know we're not asking for something that these companies can't afford. Netflix, 238 million global subscribers, $1.5 billion in profit last year. In 2022, the co-CEOs Reed Hastings and Ted Sarandos received over $50 million each in cash and stocks, up 25% and 31.5% from 2021, respectively. Writers just want a fair share for the work they do creating the shows that you all know and love. 
I'm sure many of you are aware of the industrial action being taken by our sister organization, the Writers Guild of America and the US Actors Union SAG-AFTRA over these same issues. Like us, they want the streaming platforms to share viewership details and pay royalties, to treat writers and actors well. It is in all our interests to put a stop to these unfair practices which are being used by the streaming platforms, which is why we must end buyouts, get a return to fair collective bargained agreements that include royalties or residuals or whatever you want to call them, and why we call on Congress to send our solidarity to the Writers Guild of America and SAG-AFTRA members who are taking action. If you ever... If you ever watch TV or movies or listen to podcasts, then you are all in this with us. Come on, my lovelies, please support the motion. Yeah.